got stops when we needed. Um, credit to Ingram, he had a great game. Made us switch up our game plan just a little bit, but um, we did things necessary to come up with a win. And, and a balanced effort too. Um, how much did that balanced effort and the scrappiness overall contribute to the end result? Um, I mean, we showed a lot of resiliency. Um, played together, um, hit shots when we needed, and uh, made all the right plays in the end. So when they cut it to two, what was the feeling out there among everybody? Uh, I mean, no, never, no, no, we don't feel desperate, we just, it's part of being a pro, part of um, picking up what you need to pick up, we got the stops at the end of the game, and we won, so that's all that matters. You said three things you guys want to clean up, well, obviously 23 turnovers out there, and it seems like it was even, everybody had two or three turnovers, it seemed, to, where do you guys begin to, to cut those down, how do you start? Um, this just comes with playing together. Um, just doing, just playing together and, and, and figuring each other out as much as possible. Um, knowing what players do when they drive. Um, so uh, us as shooters just being in the right position to give them an outlet when they drive and, and don't have a layup. Uh, that just comes with time. In terms of learning each other and kind of developing chemistry, does that, in your mind, in your experience, does that come faster on the offensive side or on the defensive side? And when you have a bunch of new guys that have to learn each other. It depends on what you need to um, come together for. If it's to get a stop, then it's on the defensive side. If it's to um, give Spencer or Kyrie or Karras or um, Penetrators an outlet, um, then that's up to me, Joe Harris, and Gary to be in the right spot for them, knowing where their outlets would be, depending on the position they drive in. Um, but it, I feel like experience is the best teacher, so we just got to keep playing and keep figuring each other out as we play.